Father God, Lord Jesus, help us to see a glimpse of your glory. Lord, we pray that you help us to see a glimpse of your glory. Amen. Can you desire to see a glimpse of the glory of Jesus? Yes, Lord Father God, send your fire, O oh God Jesus. 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 Send your fire, oh God Jesus. Lord, send your fire, O oh God, Jesus. Can you lift up your worship? Amen. Hallelujah. Sing a little louder. Clap a little louder. Give your best to the Lord. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Lord, let your fire, let your fire fall on us. Let your fire fall on us. Let your fire fall on us. Let your fire fall on us, oh God Jesus. Let your fire fall on us, oh God Jesus. Let your anointing flow in this place, oh God. Let your anointing flow in this place, oh God. Let your anointing flow in this place, oh God. Lord, we want that God our anointing to fall on the church. Lord, amen. Hallelujah. As prophet Joel prophesied. Lord, amen. Let the amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In the last days, let your spirit be poured out upon your children. Amen. Let the young people prophesy. Let the young people see visions and dreams. Let your church break out in power and authority. Let your church break out in the might of God. Let the church break out, Lord Jesus, in your spirit. Let the church break out, Lord Father God. Amen. Hallelujah. Let the revival break out. Lord, amen. Hallelujah. Let the revival break out. Let a hungry church rise. Let a pure bride rise. Let a pure and anointed bride rise. Can I, hallelujah, have some hungry people? Worship the Lord. Can I have some hungry people? Can I have some hungry people? Lift up your worship. Can I have some hungry people? Lift up the love of God. Lord, we lift up your name, Jesus. Lord, send us the anointing, O oh God. Amen. Restore to us, O oh God, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. The anointing of the first church. Restore us to, to us, O oh God. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord, the fivefold ministry, O oh God. Restore us, Lord Father God, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. The anointing of Father God, Jesus. The grace to worship you, Lord. We lift your name, we lift your name, we lift your name, we lift your name, we lift your name. Horikina dira raba 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 shida re 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 re. Rekina dira raba 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 shida re 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 re. Rekina dira raba 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 shida re 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 re. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't look at the name person standing next to you. Don't look at the person standing next to you. Amen. Hallelujah. Be like the blind man Bartimaeus. Lord Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on me. Can you shout out and cry out? Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on me. Amen. Hallelujah. Can you cry out to the Lord? Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on me. Amen. Hallelujah. Can you come and go like that woman who needed a breakthrough? I don't care about the crowd. I don't care if anybody is going to see me. I don't care amen, if I have to push through the people. I don't care if I have to crawl on the ground. But I need to touch the hem of Jesus tonight. I need to touch the hem of Jesus tonight. I need to touch the hem of Jesus tonight. I need to touch the hem of Jesus tonight. I need to touch the hem of Jesus tonight. I need a touch from Jesus tonight. I need a touch from Jesus tonight. I need to hear the voice of Jesus tonight I need to hear a word from Jesus tonight I need to hear a word from Jesus tonight I need to an encounter with you Lord I need an encounter with you Lord Jesus I need an encounter with you Jesus 
Rekhena dira raba la ba raba raba shindere re 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 re. Rekhena dira raba la ba shi. Rekhena dira raba la ba raba shindere re re re. Rekhena dira raba la ba raba shi. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord God. Church, O oh God, restore the strength and the authority that you died for on the cross for us, O oh God. Restore the power and the authority. Amen. Hallelujah to the church, O oh God, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, Father God. Let Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord, every chains be broken. Let every chains be broken. Let every chains on the thoughts realm be broken. Let every amen, limitation on the mindsets of your people be broken. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord, amen. Every barrier and hindrance. Lord Father God Jesus. Amen. That is blocking your word from reaching into their heart, into their spirit, oh God Jesus. Amen. Let it be moved out. Hallelujah. Rabash. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Lord Father God Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus. As Daniel began to pray, Amen. The answer to his supplication was released from heaven. But Amen. Hallelujah. It could not reach Daniel. Because, amen, hallelujah, amen, the principalities that was fighting his answer to reach him, amen, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah. Yes, amen, that doesn't mean that Daniel stopped. If Daniel stopped praying the second day, if Daniel stopped praying the fifth day, amen, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah, he wouldn't have received that answer but because he continued 21 days until amen hallelujah amen the angel of the lord standing in the presence of god was released for the highly beloved of the lord that was released for the highly beloved of the lord that was released for the highly beloved of the lord amen to come down to visit daniel amen hallelujah amen may we rise up as the highly beloved of the lord 
that they meant the angels of God's presence would visit us, would command may we elevate to become the highly beloved of the Lord. May we, amen, elevate our worship, amen, our sacrifice, amen, hallelujah, our offerings, our praises, our prayer life, our pursuit, amen, hallelujah, that, amen, we will be called the highly beloved of the Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord, we thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Here we are to say, Lord, you are our God. Amen. We thank you, Jesus. Lord, here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you're my God. You're all together lovely. All together. Thank you. 
रहे हर दिन तेरी हर साथी रहे हर पल
Holy of Holies, I enter through the back of the land. I enter to worship you only. I enter to honor I am as God. I enter the holy of holies. I enter through the blood of the Lamb. I enter to worship you only. I enter to honor I am Lord I worship you I worship you Lord I worship you
Jesus. Oh, we lift thank up you, Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus. We praise you, praise you, lift praise you. Lift up the name Lord. of Jesus. Oh, lift up your worship oh, in this place. We lift oh, your name, we lift your name, Jesus. Almighty God, we praise you, Jesus.
Praise you, Jesus. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Oh, God. Rush Makrul Birini will come to Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I need a new anointing. I need a new oil. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you. Lord, I need a touch from oh God. Praise you, Jesus. Can somebody be hungry? Oh. Can somebody be hungry? God, we praise you. Lord, we praise you. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Katavi. Katavi. Pursue for more of his anointing. Thank you, Jesus. Do not be satisfied that you can speak few tongues. Do not be satisfied that you can pray better than your neighbor. Pursue a bit more. Pursue a greater level of victory in your life. Can you establish a greater level of victory in your life? Like Daniel. Can you, amen, hallelujah, linger in the presence of God? Can you pursue God's presence? Amen, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Acts chapter 2, it says, when they were together, suddenly something happened. Suddenly, the Spirit of God moved in the midst. Expect a great move in your life. Speak to the Lord, Lord, I need your Spirit to move in me. I want a 
I want an infilling. I want that holy fire to come on my tongue. Isaiah said the same thing. He expressed his state of mind to the Lord that I am an unclean person staying among the unclean people. And the Lord touched his tongue with a coal fire. And the revelations, prophetical revelations changed. He started bringing the very birth of Jesus Christ. The life of Jesus. The suffering of Christ. And it encouraged everybody to rise. Your light has come. Today as you are standing in the midst. This is the time for you right now today. To rise. Arise and shine that your light has come. If you are not aware, if you feel out of place, something wrong with you. But God is with us. He is here. Just open your mouth and just thank Him. Speak to Him. Hallelujah. Thank Him. Speak the name of Jesus. Speak it out wherever you are. Those who have joined in this life, just speak it out Jesus I need a touch I need hallelujah I need a touch keep keep speaking keep speaking keep speaking hallelujah keep speaking we are not going to stop hallelujah keep speaking praise God keep speaking God God is good hallelujah keep speaking hallelujah he listens to you very well hallelujah he listens to you very well he he understands the moment I just said I'm an unclean person God immediately sent the call fire hallelujah if you speak to God of your need hallelujah God will send immediately hallelujah I mean if you say that God I need an infilling yes he will send you the infilling the Holy Spirit of God is moving in the midst of us hallelujah just lift the name hallelujah in your healing I mean the Lord sends that healing hallelujah he touches you the healing touch of God hallelujah the infilling touch of God hallelujah the cold fire touch of God hallelujah the holy anointing hallelujah it will come upon you just speak it out speak it out build yourself upon the holy faith I mean speaking in tongues those who are able to speak in tongues speak in tongues I'm mean, those who are desiring to be filled with the Holy Spirit you be in an attitude of receiving and tell the Lord that Lord I need an infilling I need the touch of the Holy Spirit I want the Holy Spirit to go over me I want to feel it let that fire experience come let that mist experience come I mean let the holy presence of you come hallelujah in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus there be I mean revelational understanding I mean dreams and visions to come in the name of Jesus hallelujah you just speak it out you just name it hallelujah you talk to God hallelujah keep the name of Jesus to the highest level I mean you enter into a level where I mean you forget all the other things and only you are going to stand in front of God I mean no one comes in between I mean you forget about all the worries of your life you forget about your sickness what you are carrying you forget about your stress what you are carrying I mean you only talk to God I mean let nothing come in between I mean let him be I mean everything in your life hallelujah we thank you Jesus I mean thank you Jesus thank you Jesus I mean thank you Jesus Holy Spirit of God we thank you that you are here Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. We thank you. You are going to fill your children. Hallelujah, Lord. We thank you. We praise you. Let the holy presence of you come in be very visible upon our people in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I mean, thank you, Holy Father. We praise you. 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 Hallelujah. Glory to God. I mean, keep start. Hallelujah. Start praising and praising. Hallelujah. Praising and praising. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If you are asked, I mean, the Lord will fill you. You will speak in new 
new tongues. I mean, you will have dreams and visions. And the gifts of the Holy Spirit will open up in the name of Jesus. I mean, you start I mean, talking to God. Start speaking in tongues. I mean, hallelujah, as the, as the Holy Spirit enables you to speak, you speak it out in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We love you, Father. We praise you. Rosh hallelujah Hallelujah, Hallelujah, thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We love you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We bless you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, Lord. We bless the name of Jesus. We praise the name of Jesus. We praise the name of Jesus. We praise the name of Jesus. I mean, we praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let every yoke be broken. Hallelujah. Every yoke be broken. Hallelujah. Every yoke be broken. Every doubt be broken in the name of Jesus. Every confusion be broken in the name of Jesus. Every Stress be broken in the name of Jesus. Every sickness be broken. Hallelujah, the name of Jesus. Every root of sickness be broken in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord, we thank you. We praise you. We praise you. We praise you, Jesus. Ruba Shadam Turabana, Edragavish and the Lil Guru will be going to shed the Kavana, Artelavana Shauda, Albella Vidavar, Tarbera, we shall a Turbidiga. Hallelujah, thank you, Holy Father. Father, oh, we praise you, we praise you. We bless the name of Jesus. We praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, you are holy. You are holy and you are holy. Oh, Lord, your holiness. We invite to God that you will give your holiness to your children. You will give your presence to them, oh God, as they are. Hallelujah. Asking you and praising you. Lord, we pray that God, let there be breakthroughs happening. Let the whole, hallelujah, the Heavenly realm be open towards your children. Let the glory and grace of you I mean, fall upon them, O God. Ruba Shadarabana Bishalarabada Gababa Shabdel Kabla. Thank you, Jesus. Oh God, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, Lord. Urti Al Gabri Lidishik. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We love you. We love you. We love you for being with us. We love you, Father. She mobile to be needed. all about shit. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you. We praise you. Oh, we praise you. We praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. She come on us.
you are mighty, you are greater than anybody. Your presence is more than enough for us. Your presence destroys the yoke of the enemy. Thank you, Jesus. surrender ourselves to you. Lord, today in the midst of us as you are here, we pray that God, all our sick bodies be healed. The holy fire to consume any root of cancer or any kind of sickness, cough or any body ailment, the weaknesses to their body muscles, let everything go, their headache. I mean, hallelujah, their bodily condition. Hallelujah, Lord, their infections, kidney troubles, eyesight problems, or any blood infection. Or, hallelujah, Lord, whatever your children are going through, let everything be healed. In the name of Jesus, any wound in their bodies be healed. In the name of Jesus, every infection be healed in the name of Jesus. Any inflammation be healed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, let the healing virtue of God touch. Hallelujah. Everybody, everybody today. In the name of Jesus, let your strife bring, I mean, healings to these bodies, Father. Hallelujah. Let them be healed today those who have a sleep problem let them be able to sleep properly god hallelujah this have a woman I mean, hallelujah muscle pain be eased from now i mean be healed from now in the name of jesus hallelujah lord those who have that back pain be healed today in the name of jesus you promised us that hallelujah lord this 10 days time i mean you will heal us heal our people those who have that problem the back pain be healed back pain be healed open hallelujah opportunities open doors for your people in this nation in the name of jesus hallelujah opportunities me i mean open up for god i mean we stand for that in the name of jesus hallelujah we pray that god your mighty hand will move over our people in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah we love you father those who are i mean seeking for Hallelujah, various breakthroughs in the spiritual realm. We declare, I mean, victory in the name of Jesus. We re declare, I mean, breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. We stand and oppose, I mean, principalities and powers, spirit of wickedness in high places. Spirit of darkness in the name of Jesus, you. Spirit of witchcraft and sorcery. You spirit of idol worship and bondage. You broken right now in the name of Jesus. You broken your power. He's been broken today. I lose you from their mind, will and emotion in the name of Jesus. I declare freedom in this atmosphere. I declare chains be loosened. Their loins be bent. The loins be, I mean, loosen right now. I mean, every fetters of the enemy be broken. Every chain on their feet be loosened and be broken in the name of Jesus. Holy Father, let your light shine in them. Let your fire break everything. Let the word, the power of the word of God go more deeper into everyone's life, in their family, in their lineage. I mean, take them out of that place, oh God. Hallelujah. Let you be there in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, every business center, I bless them that no crooked work will work against them. Their finances shall be released in the name of Jesus Christ. Contracts shall be released to them in the name of Jesus. Water to them. I mean, promotions be done for my people in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Those who are looking for new job opportunities. Lord, as we are praying for our people, yes, Lord, you will give them job. Those who have joblessness, oh, we will not hear anymore that word. Lord, we want to see that our people are always with the jobs. They will not lack any good things. 
delays whatever the delays happen you will finish that delays you will open opportunities for them in this nation we declare by faith we name it we imagine that the lord they are walking into their offices we declare and we receive it in the name of jesus christ they will walk in victory they will walk in victory they will walk in victory we thank you jesus we thank you jesus oh lord you are mighty you are mighty We lift it up to heaven. take the offerings oh god praise the lord praise let's the take lord. offering at our hand we'll pray thank you jesus hallelujah amen స్తోత్రం 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 తండ్రి నీకే స్థుతులు రాజా స్తోత్రం తండ్రి సృష్టికర్త నీకు స్తోత్రం నాయన హలే లోయ తల్లి గర్భంలో పిండమ్మగా రూపించబడిన మొదలు నాయన నేటి వరకు నీ రెక్కల చాటును భద్రపరిచి నాయన సజీవంగా ఉంచి తండ్రి నీకు స్తోత్రం నాయన కావలసిన ప్రతి అవసరమును నీ మహిమలో నుండి మాకు ఇస్తూ నాయన నీ కృపలో నాని ఈ దినమును మరొక్కసారి నీ సన్నిధిలో నేను మహింపరచడానికి మీరు ఇచ్చినటువంటి ధన్యత కొరకే మీకు లెక్కలేని కృతజ్ఞత అస్థుతులు స్తోత్రాలు వందనాలు చెల్లించుకుని చున్నాం డాడీ అవును తండ్రి ఈరోజు మేము కలిగి ఉన్న ప్రతి దీవెన ఆశీర్వాదమున తండ్రి మీరు ఇచ్చినదని మిమ్మల్ని స్థుతిస్తున్నాం తండ్రి మరొక్కసారి నీకు స్తోత్రం స్థుతులు వందనాలు నాయన ఇదిగో ఈ విధంగా నా తండ్రి నేను స్థుతించి కొనియాడి ఆరాధించడానికి గనపరచడానికి నా తండ్రి మీరు ఇచ్చిన మరొక గొప్ప భాగ్యమును బట్టి మీకు స్తోత్రాలు స్థుతులు వందనాలు చెల్లించుకుని చున్నాము డాడీ నీకు స్తోత్రం నాయన ఈ సమయంలో ప్రభు నీ సన్నిధులు నాయన ఇదిగో కానుకలు నాయన కానుకలు గురించి మేము ప్రార్థన చేస్తున్నాం తండ్రి నిన్నటి దినము వాక్యంలో చెప్పిన ప్రకారం నా తండ్రి ఇదిగో మా కానుకును ప్రభు నీ సన్నిధిలో పెడుతున్నాం తండ్రి హలే లూయ మంచి నెలలో పడినటువంటి విత్తనం వల్లే ప్రభు ఇది ఫలించి ప్రభు మాకు మాత్రమే కాదు కానీ అనేక మందికి దీవుని కరం ఉండినట్లుగా నాన్న ఈ యొక్క నాన్న కానుకల నీ దీవించమని మేము ప్రార్థన చేస్తున్నాం నీకు స్తోత్రం నాయన స్తోత్రం నీ యొక్క పరలోక సంబంధమైన ప్రతి దీవుని ప్రభు ఈ కానుక ద్వారా నా తండ్రి మీ పిల్లలమైన మా పైకి వచ్చినట్లుగా మేము ప్రార్థన చేస్తున్నాం నీకు స్తోత్రం స్థుతులు వందనాలు తండ్రి ఎవరికి ఏది కొదువు లేకుండా నా తండ్రి నువ్వు వాక్యంలో చెప్పినట్లు నాన్న సింహం పిల్లలు ఏమి గలవాయి ఆకల గొనును కానీ నాయందు విశ్వాసం ఉంచి వారికి భయభక్తి 
దేవభక్తుల నుంచి వారికి ఏ మేలు కొదువై ఉంచనైన మాట ప్రకారం నా తండ్రి ప్రతి దీవిన ప్రతి అక్కర ప్రభ మీరు నాన్న దయచేయమని నీకు స్తోత్రం స్థుతులు ప్రార్థన చేస్తున్నాం తండ్రి నీకు స్తోత్రం స్థుతులు వందనాలు తండ్రి ఆత్మీయంగా మమ్మల్ని ఎంతగానో మీరు పోషిస్తూ ఉన్నారు మీకు స్తోత్రాలు స్థుతులు వందనాలు తండ్రి మరొకసారి ఈ కానుకు నీ చేతులు పెడుతున్నాం తండ్రి దీవించండి నూరొంతులుగా ఫలింపచేయండి నా తండ్రి ప్రతి ఒక్క చేతిని మీరు దీవించి ఆశీర్వదించండి ఎవరికైతే నాన్న వీలే వీలైనటువంటి పరిస్థితి ఉన్నదో వారిని మీరు దీవించండి ఆశీర్వదించండి బహుగా దీవించండి నాయన ఆశీర్వదించమని ఇంకా మిగతా సమయంలో పరిశుద్ధాత్మ దేవుడ మీరే మాతో మాట్లాడి అయ్యా నీ సన్నిధితో మేము తిరిగి వెళ్ళటానికి నీ కృప మాకు దయచేయమని మహిమాగనత మీకు ఆరోపించుకునుచు మా పరమ యేసు క్రీస్తు నామములో ప్రార్థించి వేడుకునుచున్నాము మా పరమ తండ్రి అమేన్really guide our life in every situation the word of god should always stand with us agree with us and you should agree with the word when we when we believe in the word of god it will do its work it will not delay anything because what the lord spoke in the book of Isaiah chapter 55 I am just fully preparing you that his word what he spoke times back so many years back he thought about us he has seen this meeting even long years back that you are going to be here because he knows he knows everything he is all knowledgeable god and he spoke that word for us you know when god spoke to abraham that was for the people who lived at that season from there it just came forward now we are also enjoying that word when he was when he spoke to jacob from that time that word is moving forward so every season god spoke his word knowing that that will influence your life and my life that's a basic thing so any time you have any from any time or anywhere you take a promise word that is for sure it will be for your life it will not go backward with the emptiness that i could not do it only it depends upon our our lack of faith unbelief due to various various reasons sometimes we trust men more than god we trust our resources more than god we trust our head knowledge we trust our ability and we we may be reading we may be <coughs> sorry we may be reading we may be meditating but we may not give much value preference the choice whatever happens my choice is the word 
you can spend hours in worship but if you have no word balanced in worship it won't work because the word of god is the one which is equipped or sent by god that has to go first then behind what really happens the holy spirit start implementing the word when god was creating the whole world the, the holy spirit was hovering over the water because god said each segment of creation god said and the holy spirit start working so in our life also even till today you have to have more confidence in the word of god even when nothing is materializing you need to keep because that is the stage where you are going to learn how god brings things together he calls things together from many areas when he was building an army for him in front of ezekiel chapter 47 the bones in the finally when ezekiel was prophesying it started coming together the bones were scattered all over what it shows israelites were hopeless they said everything is done over but god said you prophesy in that hopelessness you don't know which bond belongs to father matthew or michael or you don't know but you prophesy so that it will come and the word of god says it came to his bone the bone came to his bone means koshi's bone will never fix with the joel's bone your prayer will never mix up with anybody's prayer what you have imagined what you have de- named it what you have declared it it will come together and it will stand up to stand become an army lot of prophecies needed we just think of oh, one worship everything is over i have i've sat in the presence of god i prayed and it's not i, I i'm standing with you 100% that's all right i encourage you to do that but not with the one when he saw that this scattered skeletons he said i don't know whether this will come or not for those who have doubt tonight the holy spirit is speaking to you i will show you i mean how things are going to materialize for what you are praying for you may be doubtful you may be questioning how this is going to happen it is impo- impossible my resources are this much only my report says this my company says this but how this is going to s- to happen what god says i will show you and he started prophesying one by one the sinews came vessels came flesh came i mean and it started forming like a hallelujah human beings but there was no life still the lord said you prophesy you keep on prophesying this remaining how many more days how many more days remaining about 9 days 10th we are going to close in prayer you keep on prophesying for what do you are praying for it will come Ezekiel saw everything is coming but there was no life so then the lord said you prophesy to the wind you prophesy that the wind will come acts chapter 2 says that wind came and did great miracles in the midst hallelujah they all understood 
what is the purpose and plan of god and how god is going to take over from the low position to a position where spirit that dispensation of grace is going to overflow in everybody's life they went through trouble and crisis but everywhere god was there and he just helped them and he brought them out into victorious life that's why today we are here hallelujah they have gone through famine flood and fire they have gone through lot of crisis but none of them lost the hope in god peter was put in jail but there was no problem i mean uh, paul and silas was in jail but there was nothing happened everyone was set free because these people they stand as the icon of faith hallelujah today as you are seated here i mean you need to be an icon of faith in whatever level you are supposed to be i'm not talking about you be a great faith person no you have to develop your level of faith in whatever capacity you can from there the lord will take you up hallelujah initially when he was prophesying over this bones hallelujah his faith was less nothing little faith no faith god asked you believe that this will going to be an army is that i don't know <laughs> you know means he has no faith no confidence but the lord said taught him prophesy you speak how many of you how many of you i mean declared this day today you have come back Yesterday I spoke about, it is not that I spoke, the Holy Spirit was speaking to us. That, imagine, naming and declaring. How many of you imagined you walk in victory? How many of you imagined I am going to have, or I am walking in health? How many of you just imagined, yes, this is what I am going to have it? even whatever the authority says or report says no i am not going to believe it i am going to have this this is what god told me how many of you did it we all are back but how many of you really personally did it from your faith you keep doing it that god will do it 100% i mean but do not be panic on any situation you just stay with god and see that i mean god is building you and your family hallelujah glory to god so today i'm taking you to the second level how you can go more close to god we need to go more close to god it is not enough or if you are satisfied with only little adjustment still you will be there but put all your full force go more close to god take little more you can do it second point first point what was yesterday i said about two days i was speaking what is the first point how to go more close to god pray to god as i family how many of you did that second day yes <laughs> yeah give a clap for all those who have did that do it one more time for those who did not do it yes i'm encouraging you do that you will see the change mountains will melt in front of you all the challenges will come even if you don't see any sign keep doing it hard heartedness will go challenges will go difficulties will go now today go to church together go to church together what i said go to church together it has lot of blessings never adjust your going to church i it is okay you be here i will go and come you are dividing your blessing you are leaving some portion what you are supposed to receive every service any service you come at the end god releases his blessings how the word is preached how the worship was and how you how you interacted with it oh it's a boring service you are only getting boring if you say that oh god spoke to me then you are receiving that i have seen this from my personal experience i'm telling i have seen lot of blessings will be 
poured in this place some are on vessels some are on golden plates some are on some are liquid type some are oil type lot of blessing i can i cannot explain you how much many of you don't even touch those blessings i feel so sad i'm re- really i'm telling you many of our people they don't take it some of them take it but as we did not see only how you can take it because your eyes were closed when the lord comes near to you you don't feel it that time you are looking at the time <laughs> jesus may be thinking oh i i'm late he is looking at the watch that time you may be thinking about your next day business or some other things so what i do is take this i receive all these things all the balance of them please put it on me i pray like that if i have seen that because all this will be here certain days such a flow of water it will just come from 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 that place someday it flows from here many of you even don't know god has poured his living water in the midst so that gifts will be operating i mean knowledge will come and cleansing will happen we don't even remember it sometimes i see such a cloudy atmosphere in here but that time <gasps> all these things happen at that time i have seen i am speaking to you as my dear people the same time when god is doing something going out with the phone i have seen people here you cannot receive anything what god has brought in this place we have various planning that time happening your attention should be here your attention should be here here don't look at me or don't look at the worship team you must see jesus here because he comes he comes and he does his work for those who are really attentive will only receive his touch that's how it is so keep this in heart when you are coming to church or when you decide to go to church go with the whole family don't leave anybody paro said let your children be here some of our people obey that children will be at home and you will come here another time said let your cattle be here some of us do that we just come without the sacrifice without a readiness to offer yourself you forgot that you come for the table of the lord with that attitude no sacrifice on the altar I am not talking about the offerings that is different I am talking to you about the sacrifice the decisions forgiveness this one sacrifice item your pride that we don't just bring from home we just left it coming with the fear that god i have come but your sacrifice is at home this not that untied your lies it is at home it is not untied all these things we leave it in one place and we come for worship moses said no we cannot do that if we worship we worship with our children and with we don't know which animal to be sacrificed we don't know which animal is good to sacrifice 
So when we come with that humbleness, with that readiness to offer anything on the altar, God, when the word is preaching, and if you understood that is to you, that time if you think, Pastor is talking about me, he under someone, in, someone might have informed, who may be that person? Joel is the one. Yes. He can only. Oh, maybe. No, no. My. Oh. Now they have shifted their house near to my house. Now they are the one who is informing. They all think all this. This pulpit, when we minister here, we don't need an informer. Amen. Tomorrow, if you are going to preach from here or minister from here, you don't need an informer. You just stand here. Come with a preparation to speak on behalf of God. God will speak. So when you think, when you, with your prejudiced mind, when you start thinking about they are this, 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 no. Your sacrifice, you don't know which animal to be cut, which bird to be killed, you don't know. And that brings a problem. So now, whatever situation is, you may be thinking it is very serious. Pastor, you know, I cannot. I have a lot of other stress and problem. Can't do that. If you mean this service is, is a meeting, an appointment with God, then mean it. This is an appointment with God. Are you all with me? Not angry, you know. You are happy? Oh, you are angry with me. If I don't say this, who will talk to you? I want to see that you are blessed, overflowing with the richness of God. Because Moses immediately said, suppose if we were there, we will, yeah, it is good. We will let our children be here. Because the enemy will find thousand and one loopholes to drag you into his custody. He will give you lot of advices, good advices. That it's all right. Let them be here. I will go and come back fast. Forsake that one. Reject that one. So that no, we are going. We will go together. With our children. With our sacrifice. That sacrifice is, you must be willing to slaughter anything. Willing to, I mean, kill anything. What it gives you a trouble. When the word comes, the word of God comes to cleanse you, nothing else. The more you are cleansed, the more you are close to God. The less you pay attention on the principles, it will not come. Now, in going together to church, number one thing is, Unity in the body. Unity in the body. That means you are united. That is what it shows. We are not. Nobody can separate us. No evil plans will separate us. Our children will not be in this place. Our spouses will not be in this place. And we will be in that worship place. No. We don't know what God likes. But what God likes is togetherness. Togetherness. When God created man, it was a togetherness thing. The Lord said, let us make man, let us take. Let us make means Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. They are together. In the same image and likeness. You are going to listen this or to read the exhortation after tomorrow. In the same image and likeness God created. But they are not completely divine. They have got the spirit but they are not divine. They are not all knowledgeable. That is what we lack. But God said, you want to know good and evil? 
you want to understand it but don't eat this food what is that good of evil don't eat but they did that so their that divinity in creation they lost but still god considers us to be together in any point of time as a born again family you must be together in everything your decision should not be 50 50 here and there don't compromise with your children or with your spouse i said yesterday also no according to the plan of god i will go i will move forward and that is where the blessings are deposited upon any believer so here unity in the body is important unity in the body it is uh, you will read it from Ephesians chapter 4 verses 11 to 16 Ephesians chapter 4 from verses 11 to 16 it says unity in the body oh this is for the church so what is written here and he himself gave some to be apostles some prophets some evangelists and some pastors and teachers this fivefold ministry the lord has appointed in the church to build our people in unity as you read downwards for the equipping of the saints for the work of ministry for the edifying of the body of christ see this fivefold ministry always look towards the progress and strength conference victory and overcoming power over the evils character formation discipline everything is there so when we are only looking looking at the church that of oh, this ministry is only for the the word the gifts or the teaching if your mindset is like that then it will not do any good in your life the moment you understand my god wants my family unit to be in unity that is why this ministry the lord has brought in the church by hearing by reading by understanding the principles of the kingdom of god or the word of god god expects you also build your family in the same principles amen if we don't build ourselves in the same principles your family will never become organized or disciplined even your generation because we have missed the main teaching when we hear from it or when you understand from the scripture the head of the family should implement in the at home as a family unit you must aim at this is what the bible says we want to do it so we will agree together so what really happens is you are agreeing now you last yesterday we we learned about you walking together your agreement no dispute you are agreeing together and moving forward and then because you agreed you came back went together with the blessing now the second point hallelujah when you come together to the church it is not for time pass when you go back you must always check with your children what today you learned what was the message you know how was the worship what you felt did god speak to you anywhere you understood or any doubt you have hey that is that's the grown up person's responsibility so that we walk and we build ourselves in the principles of the kingdom so this fivefold ministry it is not just a ministry in the church it is basically for building every member of this church 
we need to keep that in mind that when an instruction comes from the pulpit whoever may be and that has to be implemented if you have that seriousness you will see how god is improving your life how god is taking you further more because you like getting disciplined you like i mean putting yourself into the truth now verse 13 says ephesians chapter 4 verse 13 till we all come to the unity of the faith so every family unit should have that mindset that if hey, we have to come to the unity of faith what is that that myself and my spouse and my children should come into the same faith what god has transferred in me hello are you all with me if you don't mind about your child may be small you may come across with saying that no oh, is that time has not come you know he cannot sit she cannot sit she don't understand all this i also agree with you the small children cannot grasp most of the the in depth things but they can understand learn the things they never learned in school the from the first day lkg hkg number 1 2 3 they never heard all those topics but they can learn it we will say they cannot read they are not come to that level but they read the textbook in in school they read all these things from the board so to bring this unity in faith it is not at the end of their age or their childhood it should start from the very first day you must sit even a small baby sit with him in prayer oh baby is sleeping no problem take him hold him in his in your hand that will speak to that baby each day you improve it start teaching them the bible verse if they can say the lord is my shepherd teach them they will say yes i'm not just wasting your time how you will go more close to god leaving your children away from the principle of god we can never go close to god that will be a problem that will be a trouble that trouble you will see at the very end so till we all come to the unity of faith and of the knowledge of the son of god you can impart in the family unit you can always impart little by little you can discipline them even the older ones you can give them maybe some of them have no much knowledge but you can impart that yes sit properly listen this read this did you read the word a question goes from the parent god listens a prayer goes from the parents god listens so always you take initiative that whether they did it or not and after after some time they will start doing it because they understand the spirit of god start moving in so here the knowledge of the son of god to be a perfect man to the measure of the stature of the fullness of christ so our aim each family unit don't just put it on the pastor don't put this responsibility upon the rock teachers don't do that you must take we ourselves should take that my child should come to the maturity uh, to the uh, to a perfect man on he must be mature in christ knowing about christ so when you have that eagerness and seriousness you will see how your child even at the old age they will never leave the principle of the kingdom of god you leave him in any place they will stay in christ because you have a desire to go more close to god but the more we compromise the more we 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 just 
agree with one another that this is okay that is okay everything is okay you want to pray you pray and sleep we will sleep afterwards no problem we will pray after some time oh, you want to sleep no no you make sure that you all are asleep praying and all are sleeping don't allow the children to stay awake after you sleep oh you be playing no if you sleep you sleep together make sure they are also sleeping together these are all bad habits that will take your child child from the presence of god but when you are at home be together when you are in the church be together teach and preach to them hallelujah now verse 14 ephesians chapter 4 verse 14 why we want to come into the fullness of christ why every family member should have a desire that i need to go more close to god so that that we should no longer be children what's the nature of a child what's the nature of a child number one thing is what's that come on speak you are talking about your children What is the nature of the children? They are not mature. They are fearful. Or they are bold, confident. If suppose if a balloon blasts here, they all will run away. Correct? Birthday party. <laughs> so they are fearful. So if you are fearful, I mean, that we should no longer be children that is we you cannot be a slave to fear we sing this song no more no longer we are slaves but we break all the other principles still we are slaves now read with me this second peter chapter 2 verse 19 second peter chapter 2 verse 19 while they promised them liberty at the last word only i want to they themselves are slaves of corruption the truth is this for by whom a person is overcome anything which is overcoming you any addiction or any problem or any any kind of this lack of this principles in their life if we are if you are tend to agree for your complacency of anything Suppose you say, oh, this is no need. We can do this way also. If we don't read today, no problem. Tomorrow we can read. That tomorrow, tomorrow we should avoid. That overcoming thing. Try to compromise with the world. We must. When we have the care of the world, what happens? The word is chopped. When we are more concerned about the world, the word will never work the principles will never work god will never work in your life maybe sometime when somebody hear this preaching what i preach i so say how can god work he is so kind and merciful hey that's your doctrine the bible doesn't agree with that if moses is so strong and standing that my animal should go what really happened one more miracle happened in front of moses and one one more trouble happened to the to the egyptians the duration of crisis increased but moses said no we will not go if moses says that let's go let our children be here moses knows if i go i will never be able to return to this place so he wants to take his children also away so in this if something is overcoming us you are a child you just though we are mature people we say though we are coming to the church we are praying but most of the time we behave like we are children we change our words we change our our decisions determination and then we 
indirectly let me tell you we are slaves because something has overcome in our life maybe because of we don't want to you know put more pressure on our child we want to just see that oh this is the only one child i have you know i don't want to trouble her more avla kadnu orangikku because she understands my love if we just see the overcoming power become a slave but in the other side we will say that so okay, i have been to a oh, powerful service it was goosebumps were coming over me but what happened only goosebumps nothing gone inside <laughs> but when you are together god will do his operation god will do his operation your seriousness your desire that is what god is looking at not about the screaming and and, and shouting here no that all comes but your desire and your serious seriousness no longer children means no longer slaves so that we need moses decided no i am no longer a slave to the egyptian that identity every family member should remove from your life if you feel certain areas you compromise in anything if you compromise next time when you sing this song i am no longer a slave put a question mark am i no longer a slave or still i am overcome with something else so that's important so that what really happens you can you can see the miracles taking place in your life breakthroughs taking place in, in in your life you can see the glory of god just rising on the dawn of your miracle because you have only one thing that i just want to be with god i don't want to break the principle of the kingdom of verse 15 says when you are together 14 and 15 we'll read that we should no longer be children tossed to and fro and carried away with every wind of doctrine by the trickery of men in the cunning craftiness of deceitful plotting because that we should keep in our mind that my family should not be to and fro one week okay the second week is not okay one month is fine the next month is completely out hallelujah one week we are able to come but the second week we cannot because something else is already piling up that you need to arrest that you need to stop and say that i cannot these are all the trickery of the enemy i mean when hallelujah when the unbelievers when they start advising you and you start taking the opinions and advices i mean be very careful i mean your family will be shaken after some time your spiritual growth will be shaken after some time hallelujah when you know sometimes you just see when we have the 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 planned meetings even worship service the enemy will bring many choices in front of us he will bring lot of pressure upon us because he wants to take you out from the place from the blessings from the favor of god he knows you are going to be be touched by god you are going to be healed you are going to have a clear understanding a peace joy happiness he knows that that is going to happen today but he will make sure you are not there immediately some other assignments will come more pressure comes but when you decide that no today i am not going to do it i will go to the church i will study the word i will put that into my life then it will it will be a different experience the cunning craftiness you need to understand when someone is clearly i mean coming into your life with a lot of i mean advices and opinions question immediately for that you need to be in the presence of god you need to be hallelujah defined within the walls of the fivefold ministry the fivefold ministry in the church is given so that you will not make a mistake you can take always mentorship from the fivefold ministers in our church i'm really i'm telling you you take the advice of them you speak to them pray with your elders 
pray with the intercessors pray with the worship team i mean they will give you complete advice or call me i'm there i'm not saying that only call me we have people here but make use of it instead of hallelujah taking the godly counsel when you start going here and there let me tell you i mean it will never produce any result i have seen people just leaving the service or or abstaining from the service they go for somebody promised that i am coming i will give you this much money this is the last you know you are waiting no today i got the money but they go wait there like a ball nothing happens waste their time whole day so many people when i called them what happened Oh, because that man promised. When he said that man promised, only my heart will say, yeah. that is a false promise from the enemy. You waited in that hot sun. So keep this in mind. In the church, there's fivefold ministers. That is mainly to build you and me. Not just for Pastor Koshi. or apostle so and so prophet so and so i mean teacher so and so no it is to build you and bring you up so when you have a problem always speak to your elders or the ministers but the ministers and the elders the prophets and the teachers apostles and pastors you have to take the call seriously don't take it very light if you are an intercessor take it seriously god will test your call he will bring certain need in your uh, somebody's need in your heart start praying because you are going to be a spokesman for god that seriousness should be there maybe a deacon an usher or worship leader any ministry in this you will you will get clear level of ministry you may not be a pastor you may not be a prophet you may not be a worship leader but according to your level of ministry god will always give the enough load when the whole church take that you will see our family will be our families will be stronger if our families are stronger our church is stronger if our church is not stronger meaning the families are so disintegrated but god has brought this ministry in our house in our church meaning god is interested in building our families hallelujah when we have the meetings when we have the set set i mean programs or prayer meetings make sure you cancel all the other things take a holiday if you are supposed to take take a holiday and spend time more in prayer so that you will overcome all the challenges whatever i mean the enemy has brought so verse 15 says truth in love truth in love that means in the family but speaking the truth in love no hidings no you will not hide anything in the family in the family unit in or among your family members there is no secret it is not that 50% only you will release to the spouse there is no double account i'm not talking about the bank account <laughs> we will have an open heart because all the matters you are bringing in the presence of god when you have a problem at work you will speak to your family first that i have a problem let us pray so everybody prays the cry of his children will be answered but if we just keep hiding or oh, that problem i don't want to tell him i don't want to tell her or oh, you are going to enter into trouble always share you can share with your mender that i have a problem if it is a serious problem otherwise you don't share if something very serious share with the with the person whom you really believe that they will pray and you will see your family is building up god will not allow the enemy to rule over your life and put you down so truth in love the truth in love means you love your family and also you love the truth and you are speaking 
there is no there is no shutter in between so that may grow up in all things into him who is the head christ so the head of the family should take this in your heart if you want to go more close to god meaning you are going to be like christ as the head you have you have that kind of a burden and an interest that yes i want my family to be in truth in growth in everything i want them to moving forward verse 16 growing together you are child maybe if, if the youngest child is having only 8 years the other child is 10 years or 12 years they all will have the same knowledge growing according to his level of understanding whatever you spoke he will get it the other person will have more knowledge but when we come together it will be the same thing are you all with me going more close to god is not depends upon the length of your speaking in tongues hello are you all with me it is not defined with the length of your prayer time it is basically in togetherness applying the principle in the in the in your life and growing together from the whole body joined and knit together by whatever joint supplies if the head is not supplying the principles in the family your family is not organized you may say i am organized i have everything our bed is organized our table is organized our everything is organized our tv remote is organized our phone is organized everything is organized but if we miss the truth growing together truth l- truth in love i mean if you are able to hallelujah overcome the one who came to overcome it, if you are able to produce that unity of faith within your family i mean you will be really a, a godly family you will just grow more in love in forgiveness in accepting in bringing hallelujah your generation upward so here from the whole body so where not from the church your house your family here the training center you are going to practice at home so the word will have more effect in your life the word will fortify you the principles will fortify you and you will keep moving so join the knit together by what every joint supplies according to the effective working by which every part does its share 8 year 9 year 10 year 12 year even 30 year or 40 year 50 year if you are having a family let me tell you they all will share their portion they will all share what they are supposed to share in the body of christ in your family worship in your i mean services to god so that you are going to grow more close to god nothing bad will come to you or your generation that's a basic truth you need to understand and then causes growth of the body for the edifying of itself in love suppose if there is a problem you will understand it very well and you will with love you will cover everything you will just bring them up rebuke yes you will rebuke you will correct you will admonish them and you will bring them up how it is so important today as you are listening to the word of god growing together is important so it means going to church together don't take an excuse anymore what to, maybe if you are if somebody is sick yes somebody is having an emergency meeting and if it is needed otherwise you make sure that you are going to the church and you may find some other time for compensating this but when you make the priority as god then these principles are a must pharaoh will always say 
leave no problem but as moses you need to stand and declare that no my children my spouse my wife my husband must come into the into the presence of god because i want to grow more in the in the presence hallelujah glory to god i mean growing together i said no walk worthy another maybe 5 10 minutes will be closing walk in worthy of the calling if you're called as a family if you're called in the ministry a walk in the worthiness if you are not worthy you can never reach to god if you are not holy you cannot reach to god our our simple presence in this place will never make you more close to god we need to walk in the worthy walk worthy so ephesians chapter 4 verses 1 to 4 says i therefore the prisoner of the lord beseech you to walk worthy of the calling with which you were called if you were called as a family man you must walk in the worthy of the calling if you are called as an apostle you must walk in the worthy of the calling everywhere everywhere you don't just come to church just like that you must know one thing there is a calling upon me as a minister if you are a minister i want to tell you this don't wear some t-shirts some torn clothes that is style looks good you are a minister now you may be thinking oh my god pastor noticed no it's nothing to do personally i am teaching you how to walk worthy of the calling you cannot just wear anything and everything guess who oh, i am coming like you have a calling <laughs> i have seen all this not in our church stop all this if you don't rever your calling in your external appearance your internal is also like that only because you are vouched by god first you know when when god was separating priest for his temple he gave them such a beautiful dress code what god said this this is for your glory and for your honor that is why god gave them for whose glory for the priest for the minister's glory god says that you should look beautiful elegant people should respect you as a man of god a minister of the gospel worthy of the calling that's very important so that you will behave that in every areas your talk your look your appearance your style everything should match with the calling what you are called I am not saying that you be a traditional orthodox you know all those things no I am not saying about that but when suppose if we don't go for suppose you wearing all this another level of dress we never go to a wedding we never go to any official meeting we never go to any place just like that if you have really a position in that place we wear the best so why we just come with our own standard forgetting who you are that's important this is another area where i'm not talking about the dress value no never you can wear based on your ability but what i am talking to you is you are forgetting who you are you are a royal priesthood you stand not like the royal people here you are more than that i mean they are identified in their society when they have that extra robe on them this is somebody special not every 
local person will wear that but they have a function they wear and they stand out we are more than that how can we forget the call of god in our life fine you don't have a ministry but you have called as a family man for your purpose only all this ministry the priest ministry priestly ministry prophetical ministry the kingly ministry apostle ministry everything is basically for each family unit not just to run a church don't forget this it is for us it was it is not for a single person it is for the family that's why family is important children are part of that family that's the main plan and purpose of god but so don't forget the calling the status the level what god is looking on you we cannot be just like 10 years back you got saved you cannot be a 10 year old child anymore if that is the case you are like a children to and fro you are like a slave to that 10 year style we need to remove that we need to change we need to have a new understanding each day when we come together in the presence of god that god you know i know you are going to do such a great i mean miracle in my life you are going to transform my life you are going to increase the knowledge of god in me the knowledge of the word of god in me i know i am moving from i mean glory to glory if we don't have that kind of an understanding i mean we are not growing we are just just like that more of blemish will come in our life more of 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 dirtiness the 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 uncleanness will come that will always take you away from god when you disobey the principles of the kingdom i mean your family will suffer but you are the one who will always i mean always to decide and choose whether you want to really make your family suffer or you want to stand in peace and when we take a strong decision on that you are going more close to god we will re- reform us and you will walk in the worthy of the calling in which you are called with all lowliness and gentleness with long suffering bearing with one another in love in the family all our expressions here sometime we say that we all are in love we, we love each other but i don't like so and so some of them i don't like i don't want to sit that place also sometimes we come up with that conclusion but inside the family we never speak like that so there is a difference the more we transform ourselves the attitude in the church also will change because we will learn how to love one another when we don't learn at home then we cannot practice it here these are all just like that we are doing it but inside the family we may we may we have to do it bearing with one another in love endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace there is one body one spirit just as you were called in one hope of your calling so when we have that kind of an understanding i mean that's a must for i mean you to grow in faith if you have division at home then you are not growing if you have disagreement you are not growing if you quarrel every day you are not growing you may be after some time you know sometimes i'm i'm telling you some of the stories when the family fights speaking all bad words and beating and shouting and yelling they will put the i love you lord the volume increases so that nobody hear there are because i am a counselor i am telling you the stereo volume will increase worship is happening but here real teaching is happening real warfare is happening because they never learned the principle they never learned the principles thinking they are going more close to god so we need to learn one brother and one family came here long time back 
by the time when he came only i want to be here in the church i said no we don't take people just like that i am really i'm telling you if god is not sending you here better you pray brother because i understood there something is wrong with this man they were here for few time few few months so he started showing his color in the family i know what is happening inside the church also he started on the new year eve yes on the new year eve december 31st one i don't know which i forgot the year while we were i was about to bless the communion table this fellow he he made a mess here he was trying to beat brother mario he was just raising his hand and moving forward i noticed it but the next day i called him i said what happened he was giving me some other excuse but i told him hey this is not acceptable if you don't know how to respect our elders and the ministers here then what kind of a respect you are giving to god here there is no hard and fast rule if you don't know love one another and you do all your gimmicks inside and outside it will not work here that will not work we must learn how to behave at home if husbands if you are raising your hand against your wife you are far away from god if you are using bad words with her or with your children you are no more near the kingdom of god you are only just hearing and it goes from this way you will never reach heaven i am really telling you repent and turn to god you are speaking tongues will never help you your praising will never help you don't feel bad i am really telling you the truth today is which day sixth day sixth day is man's number that is human beings number tomorrow is the completion seventh day so to, today i have to tell the truth this is absolutely not acceptable in the church and at home if you think you are a believer don't waste time don't waste life walk in togetherness walk in the worthiness of the call i want you to close your eyes i want you all to come tomorrow with the preparation in your heart that we want to see tomorrow is the seventh day we want to receive the power of the holy spirit amen we want to receive more of god's hallelujah spirit to work in our life so from this day you say that god i want to be filled with the holy spirit we want to pray for you that you will be filled with the holy spirit and you will start speaking in tongues all the other things any disagreement or anything whatever happened i mean till now I mean, maybe you used some 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 different things. Maybe you used the, hallelujah. Your method of handling the family was different, but I mean, correct it, hallelujah. I mean, change it. I'm seeing, hallelujah. Glory to God. I mean, there are there is. I mean, the presence of God is there, but I can see lot of fumes are going here and there. Lot of hallelujah. Glory to God. I mean, even still, hallelujah. Glory to God. The shadows are within this presence. I mean, let us remove all this unclear situation. Let us become more clear in your. your spiritual growth that god i don't want to have another fire inside your presence i want to see that my family is well built and and growing in faith and speaking in love in truth i mean in faithfulness we will be just moving hallelujah 
Father, we thank you. We praise you. I want you to, I want you to open your mouth and start preparing yourself. I mean, speak to God. Just worship God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. As I said in the beginning, hallelujah, I can see. Hallelujah. It's like a, it's like a, hallelujah, a strong, hallelujah, a strong, I mean, like the water is how it splashes. I mean, it is coming from one source. Hallelujah. The Lord is going to cleanse you. I mean, you open your mouth and speak to God. I mean, be very open. I mean, be very sensitive with the Holy Spirit. Tell the Lord that Lord speak to me. Hallelujah. I have my own weakness but today I want to be cleansed in the name of Jesus. I want to be cleansed oh God. Hallelujah. I sometimes I become I mean Lord I become uncontrolled in my personal life. I become hallelujah Lord, uncontrolled hallelujah I, in my languages hallelujah Lord, in my speaking in my behavior. Hallelujah Lord I have done many mistakes. Hallelujah Lord I never took care of the my family. I would just left them like that however they want to. Only you know we are just only, hallelujah Lord, we were just only, I mean what we just have able to do it. But today, I have decided today the Lord I am coming to you that my family shall be taught by you and my children shall be taught by you and their peace shall be great. I believe that. I mean you are going to lead me through oh God. You are going to take me through oh God. Hallelujah glory to God. How many of you will speak to God? How many of you will stand in the presence of God and tell the Lord that Lord, hallelujah I don't want any kind of delay to come. I'm not going to let my children, I mean, stay behind and I will be, hallelujah, moving forward. I want to take my children also along with me so that God, hallelujah, last day when it comes, I will be able to spend my life together with my children in heaven. I will not miss any of my grandchildren, hallelujah, in heaven. I will miss, hallelujah, Lord, I will not miss anybody. All my grandchildren will be there. I will not, hallelujah, Lord, I will not lose him. I will not see them in hell but I will see them in heaven hallelujah in the name of Jesus imagine it today I mean speak about it declare it about it and that my family shall be taught by my God I mean I will make use of I mean whatever the resources God gives to me I will bring my sacrifices every time when I go to the altar whatever needs to be chopped I will chop Anybody here? Anything to be corrected? If you are arrogant and if you are adamant about certain of your behavior, put a knife today. Let it be offered on the altar and say that God, I am ready. I want to see my family will be in good health, in good peace. In unity in love. I will not miss them when I come to your presence. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we bless you, Daddy. Thank you, Jesus. People of God, still, it's just coming. That water is flowing from that stream. Now I am seeing in the upper level. Hallelujah. As the, as the waves come and the water, suppose if it is falling down just like that. Hallelujah. The water is just flowing. God needs, God knows that you need a cleansing. Hallelujah. A cleansing. Don't just, don't just, hallelujah, think that, no, nothing, I don't feel it. Hey, the revelations, the prophetical ministry, when it works, hallelujah, you receive that. Hallelujah, Lord, let that water come upon me. Let that water come and cleanse me. I need a cleansing. I mean, mind, I need a cleansing. You don't be shameful about, hallelujah, what is happening around. You just accept and say that, God, yes, in the name of Jesus even I am seeing from this side I mean from the middle side Hallelujah glory to God The Lord is opening Hallelujah glory to God You start praying There the Lord gives There the Lord releases In the name of Jesus Hallelujah Hallelujah the decisions Hallelujah the decisions Hallelujah whatever you speak to God Lord I need a cleansing Hallelujah you just receive it In the name of Jesus Lord I I surrender my bad habits to you. I surrendered my bad thoughts to you. I surrendered my bad languages. Hallelujah, Lord. I surrender my activities which are not approved by you, O oh God. Lord, I am surrendering everything. I need a cleansing in the name of Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, my King. Thank you, my Lord. As we keep, hallelujah, glory to God, I will surrender your life. Father, we thank you, we praise you, and I pray that God, hallelujah, those who are standing in thy presence, I mean, those who are, Lord, those who are even sitting, if they have a real, I mean, serious desire about bringing that change, let that change happen today. I mean, let the, hallelujah, holy, heavenly water, hallelujah, Lord, let it not, hallelujah, Lord, be gone away from them. Let it sink, hallelujah, let them be able to sing inside. Let them be, let the water, hallelujah, come and cover them, Father, so that all the blemish shall be removed, their minds shall be cleansed and they shall I mean walk in victory in unity in truth in agreement in love I mean there will not be anything nothing can separate them in the name of Jesus I pray and I bless them in the mighty matchless name of Jesus I bless them that father hallelujah no hidden secret will be there no hidden agenda will be there hallelujah in the name of Jesus I mean they will not speak hallelujah unwanted I mean hallelujah ill oh Lord ill faith words they will not I will speak anymore they will always I mean cleanse their tongue hallelujah in the name of Jesus they will desire for a, a greater breakthrough that their tongue shall be used for prophetical utterances when they are building their family unit in the name of Jesus Christ when they worship they will stand as the head hallelujah Lord they will hallelujah receive blessings and favor from you and you will supply to the whole family unit so that they will grow in the richness of you father we thank you we praise you and as we keep praising and thanking and receiving want all of you to stand and i mean hallelujah sister shamana will come and pray and close the meeting father we thank you we praise you we praise you keep praising hallelujah keep as you are standing keep i've been mean, thanking god glory to god thank you jesus We praise you, praise you, praise you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, El Shaddai, the God of more than enough. We thank you and praise you, Heavenly Father, for bringing us together as a family, Lord, before your throne of grace today. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for being with us throughout the past week, for making the joy of the Lord our strength, O oh, Heavenly Father. We thank you, Lord, that though we fasted from food, we feasted on your word, O oh, Heavenly Father. We thank you, Master, for the powerful word of your minister to us today. We thank you, Father, for teaching us that our ministry begins at home, O oh, Lord. We pray, O oh, Heavenly Father, that we as families, O oh, Lord, as spouses, as parents, as children, as siblings, O oh, Heavenly Father, we will be bound together in love, O oh, Lord, in faith, in unity, O oh, Heavenly Father. Father, that we will be committed to your word, to your will and to your way, O Lord. That every decision that we take as a family, O Lord, will be pleasing in your sight, O Master. We pray, O Heavenly Father, that you will destroy all the forces of evil that are acting against our families, O Lord. We pray, O Heavenly Father, that we will pray together, O Lord. We will attend church together. We will serve together, O Heavenly Father. From the smallest to the largest thing, O Lord, you will grant us the grace, O Lord, to stand up for you, O Lord. Father, we pray, O Heavenly Father, that even as we draw near to you, you will draw near to us, O Lord. We thank you, Master, for the anointing of your Holy Spirit. We pray, O Heavenly Father, that during these times, when our flesh is weak, O Lord, Lord, we who wait upon you, Lord, you will renew our strength. We will soar on wings like eagles, O Heavenly Father. Lord, when Elijah was famished, running away, but running for you, O Heavenly Father, you sent your angel to strengthen him and told him he has a long way to go further. We believe, O Lord, that we have a long way to go to see your promises bear fruit in our lives, O Heavenly Father. We are going to see, O Lord, we may not see the rain, we may not hear the thunder, but our valleys will be filled with water, O Heavenly Father, because you are going to rain down your blessings on us, the fire of your Holy Spirit on us, O Heavenly Father. We pray, O Lord, that we will not rend our clothes, but rend our hearts before you, O Heavenly Lord. You will, you will make us sacrifice, O Lord, our pride, our boastfulness, our self-righteousness, our self-reliance, O Lord, that we will trust in you, O Heavenly Father, for you are the fountain source of all things. We thank you and praise you, O Lord, for our pastor, for his family, for all the families of this church, for all the ministries of this church, for everyone who's ministering, O Heavenly Father. We pray, O Lord, that you will help us to grow in your word. We pray for all our online viewers. We especially at this time pray for all the ministries in different parts of the world who are suffering persecution, Lord, because of 
of your word. We pray, O oh Lord, that you will protect them, that even as we stand together in faith, O oh Lord, they will see your deliverance, O oh Heavenly Father. We pray, O oh Lord, that even as we return home, your grace will be with us. You will continue to be with us and bring us safely, O oh Lord, tomorrow here to focus and meditate on your word. We thank you and praise you for this wonderful opportunity, Lord. All glory, honor, praise and thanksgiving be unto thee, O oh Lord. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Receive the benediction. May the grace of Jesus Christ, love of the Father, and sweet communion of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forever. Amen. Amen. God bless you all.